Kenton Kelsey here with MrTruck.com and another exciting truck review. This truck is an SUV. It's actually unibody, so it's not a body-on-frame truck, but we still like it. It's an Explorer Platinum 2016 pulling this load-through trailer with two ATVs and a motorcycle. How much power do we have, Kelsey? We have 365 horsepower to 350 torque. Awesome. That's enough. Let's go climb some hills. <laughs> Kelsey, what's the front seat like? She's very, she's very pretty. Yeah, it's a good looking truck. She's a very good looking SUV. This is the massage seat button. Changes all the lumbar controls and the vibrations. We've got regular um, power seats. Cool. Power pedals. Yeah, it's power. all on the side of the steering wheel, huh? Yep, power everything on the side of the steering wheel. Back hatch. Yeah, we got that thing working. Oh, it will open and shut. Open and shut. And then there's the tow haul mode right next to the hatch. Yeah. Three lights. Yeah, let me see. Where's that tow haul mode again? The tow haul mode's right here. Oh, that's good. Cool. We've got power and your heated and cooled seats. And yeah, nice looking string. A little different angle than I'm used to. 180 degree camera up front. Yeah. Nice black interior. Cool. Well, show me what the back seat looks like. Alright. You're in the back seat. Oh, it's got a big back seat. And I'm sure that that seat folds down, makes a big cargo area. Gotta fold it. Yep, right here. It's even on power. Cool. Folds down on power. There's a huge center console back here, too. Yeah, that's why I think. I think it's passengers for six, from what I can tell. Yeah, one of those got open from the back. It's a little tricky. It opens from the back. Yeah. <laughs> a little height of storage, but there is a center console back here, so we get two center consoles. This is a, a luxury taking somebody vehicle, that's for sure. Oh, sure. We'll climb out and see if you can power that seat down. I want to see how that works. Wow, that's fast. Holy cow, and then you can jump in that third row. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Good deal. Now I want to look at the third row seats and all that power they have back there. I'm ready. Show me the buttons. Pull it up. So we can go normal seats in the back. Yeah, it's so cool how they fold up. So it is six seats. This vehicle is six seats, two, two, and two. Yeah. You can fold them forward. Well, that's cool. So it gives you some space, plus it gives you that storage gives bucket. You, yeah. This is, I'm guessing, yep, it's how you get to your spare tire. Cool. But there's a, a large amount of room back here now. Yeah, you can put a lot of stuff in there, put all your rifles. Or you can flatten the whole back out. Yeah. With the stow button. That is too cool. You can do it each seat individually. Uh huh. Or you can do it both if you leave it in the middle. I like that. It gives you a lot of room to stack all your camera equipment. It does. Cool. Okay. On to the next thing. I'm ready, Kelsey. So in this Platinum Edition, we do have the camera. Oh, yeah, that is cool. So that's, that's the front camera. That's the front camera. Yeah. I think. So you got 360 There's and 360. Oh, I love it. So you can see what rock you're climbing. That's just too cool. I like the knobs. I like the controls. Yeah. And we got the knob down here for the desert and snow and mountains and everything, just like yeah. Land Rover has. For your terrain. The center button is your downhill descent or okay. whatever that is. And yeah, that is option. I'm seeing yeah. this more and more often, this push yes. start button. I'm a big fan of the push button start and you can carry the key with you and opens your doors and everything. Fobs, That's, yeah. That takes the convenience. There are a lot of shiny buttons. Yep. Heated not... seats, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Heated and cooled seats. Yeah. And then this one has the front seats are the massager seats. Yeah, let's look at that screen because that screen's very really interesting. I can find it. Push the middle button on the side of your seat. Try that. Multi contour seats. There you oh, go. There's, there oh, there it is. So I've got the lower back on. Yeah. I can go down to. Oh, that's lower back. Yeah, and you do one seat at a time, passenger there's... and the driver. So you can turn them up to where they're fast or slow or high or low. And then you can also change the 
Oh. Then you can also change the... Oh, yeah, intensity, I guess. Mm -hmm. Get that puppy up, keep you awake. That's awesome. You'll be all soft and cushy one time you get there. You're just so happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that's enough stuff. You got to read the book. Oh, Kelsey, here we are up in the high country again with this new 2016 Explorer. The Platinum is loaded. Mm -hmm. It is right. loaded. Yeah, and it's only the MIM MSRP manufacturer's suggested retail price. It's $55,355. Yeah, this... Okay, for hauling small trailers, have yeah, on the weekends. Right, that 5,000 pound is what the trailer rating is on. We're pulling right around 3,000 with it right now. Yeah, there was a cool place right there. Time, yeah, now is this part of the state land or state park I don't know. or national? I don't know, but this is a pull off. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, yep. <laughs> Are you trying to pull it off? Yeah. I'm trying to pull the trailer off. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. We've got this load trail trailer that load through that road loads out each end so you can load it into a pickup, and it is high clearance. So we took it up to the mountains, my son and I, Wednesday, and we climbed over a nine inch rock with it, so it was doing its job when we were four wheeling. Got some pictures of that. Oh, I love this creek. Which creek is this? Ooh, I don't know. Well, you can just see the Coors coming out of it, can't you? Just the Coors. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're a Coors fan, right? Yeah, well, no, not really. But anyway, that's probably one of the creeks that the Coors comes from. Or Molson or whatever the company is now. But this puppy is three rows of seats. And somewhere I saw the applicants for seven, but I don't think it's six. As I count the seat belts. One, two, three, four. There's three in the back, right? Three well, in the very back? I don't know if there's or not, because they're split in the middle. So they're I think it's two so it's seats. Two. So that's what I'm saying. It's two, four, six. But we'll, we'll look at them, because you push a button, and they fold all kinds of directions. So it's we'll, all power. We'll demonstrate that in just a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we're up here where all the bicycles are hanging out, enjoying the 60-plus weather. It is nice today. Yep, we're going to start seeing more greenery. we got all the evergreens green. But this thing has adaptive cruise control, which, you know, it has a laser or radar, it locks on a car in front of you. I love that. These are my favorite things. But uh, it's comfortable. It's, it's weird. These, these SUVs, like this one, I'm going to truck the dashes up here, kind of in front of you. So the steering wheel pulls out in front of you. Well, this dash is down low. The steering wheel actually goes up, up. So it's a weird angle, even though it says power tilt and power uh, telescope. And it's got this really cool camera in the front. When you're driving, I think it's under, it must be 15 miles an hour or so. Yep. You can see the big rocks in front of me, rock climbing. And it says all the toys for that. It has this knob, kind of like what Land Rover came out with, that shows you all, like we're in normal. And then I had it in snow the other day. So you set it for that and it adjusts everything so that it optimizes for snow, sand, highways, whatever you're gonna use it for. So it's an all wheel drive. You can't share it off that I can find. And they call it uh, Advanced Track with RMG, whatever, or RSG, whatever that is. I can't read these small prints. But, and this has, of course, heated seats front and rear, cooled in the front. All the toys you want, push button, start. Push button, start. Buttons uh, all over. It's got a massage seats and both yes, front seats. Yes, massaging seats. Now, this one, I think, take a little more time to adjust it. Have you got it massaging now? I do not. Because I was trying this with my son, and we were doing it, but it was more obnoxious and it was fun. The pickups, the F-150s I've done this and I really liked it. So I know I just don't quite have it adjusted where I want because now it's just like an, a lumbar sticking out in the way to it does get feel it like, figured out. Yeah, it does I feel just, like your lumbar, like the lumbar support's just rolling up and down rather than... Yeah, so this one I don't know if I just, I just I need to work with a while and see just how it will work and get it all adjusted. This has the moon roof, rain sensing wipers, Fancy roof wipers. Rack. Yeah, rack. yeah. This is the... Uh, 3.5 EcoBoost twin turbo, one of my favorite engines. So it flies in. It is a 316 axle, so it's one of those fuel mileage axles. Mm -hmm. Which is probably why it's right around that 5,000 pounds. Look, well, it says 18 to the gallon combined. Yeah, 18 is the combined city of 16, highway is 22, so it's very similar to what the half tons are. Mm -hmm. Half ton trucks. Very similar. It's a little shorter than half ton, and this is four wheel independent suspension like most SUVs are now, except for the GM line. And you can tell that it's got the Elvis pelvis action on the trailer, even though the trailer's only 3,000 pounds. We're not required to have weight distributing hitch or brakes. And I loaded the heaviest four wheeler in the front to it's give it a good tug weight. And it's, you still got to hang on to it. Yep. So it's just, you know, it's probably not my favorite towing vehicle. But, I mean, this is the right weight for this. I mean, nowadays 5,000 is maximum, but when we're all 3,000 pounds and you got to, Hang on to it. I, I wouldn't call this the ideal trading machine. No, well, 
you don't buy an SUV to go haul around a horse or anything like that. You go for like a pop-up camper, a small camper, a couple four-wheelers. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's more of a family investment. Right, it's a fun machine, so it's like a lot of those. You make a payment on your drive to work, and then you have fun on the weekend with it. And you can do some off-road with this. I mean, it's got a crawl feature. That's it. You can a downhill descent, and it's got all these other things you can use for different uh, environments. I mean, we've got plenty of snow. We played in the snow with it. It did pretty well. You can feel it slipping when I wanted to. But this has some more woodwork in here, I guess. And what I really like on the side of the doors and back of the seats, I call it tuck and roll. It's where they cross hatch the stitching. Yeah. I love the way that looks. It's like, you know, the headlighters and semis mm -hmm. cross hatched. Pretty cool. It's a gorgeous color. This looks like that, uh, it's like really fingernail white. polish is the name for it. Uh, a, it is white platinum metallic tri coat. Okay. Yeah, so it's you know it's it's like fingernail polish uh -huh. is what I call it. And the inside is Nirvana leather medium soft cream. I can see that on the seats. It does look like there's some like brushed aluminum running throughout. Oh. The... Yeah, yeah, that's their yeah they do. That's that follows the woodwork around mm -hmm. the dash. So, I haven't been an explorer in a while. I used to review these all the time. I used, you know, luckily, I used to pull two horse traders with this. This was a mm -hmm. big thing back when they were body on frame. Now that they're four wheel independent and unibody, they're just a little bit different for a hauling machine. But they are fun for an SUV. This has those giant moon ramps, the little one in the front, the big mm -hmm. one in the back. So, so everybody gets to see out? Yeah, which is great in the mountains. You get to watch the mountains, <laughs> which I like. comfortable over there? Yeah, I'm really comfortable over here. The steering wheel's a little smaller, but I think that's because I'm used to driving pickups. Yeah. It's an SUV thing, but... And I hear a little road noise with this, which surprises me, because this is, you know, platinum, it's top of the line package. So I don't know if it's coming through the doors or out that back hatch. I don't know. I don't either. I do hear it, though. I think you're right, because of the way they do the dash, you've got great visibility. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a lot lower, so you can really get up close and comfortable with people. And then you turn your little camera on and read your license plate and see what they're doing. Or we'll see that rock, because that's what we've done. We climbed some rocks with this. And it's nice to see what's right underneath your front bumper without climbing up. Does this really tell me the speed limit? Is that what I see? Probably. Yeah. I think it tells me the speed that, limit. Well, yeah, that tells you what supposed it's to supposed go. to be. Yeah. yeah, a lot of them have that. Now, the adaptive cruise control is so cool. And I use it with traders. Most of the manufacturers don't want you to use it with traders. I know the new Super Duty coming out in 2017 is made for traders. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see that because you know, a lot of times I tell you not to use it. Well, that's when it's the, the, the nicest. When you put it on. Yeah, yeah. that's what helps you the most so you don't have to go back and forth on your foot feet and then lose the fuel mileage. Because I like to try to get that 22 miles to the gallon on this rascal. But I do like the push button start on these. These have so many... There's so many toys on this. Yeah. There's so many toys this, on this. They call them the scuff plates. That, that little kick panel on uh -huh. the bottom. It's light, lights up. Mm -hmm. All the cool stuff. I know when you shut out the mirrors fold in. This has got all that. Now watch on this side. See if we hit this bike grip. Those little orange lights light up. It shows two vehicles getting real close. So I should get a camera on that. Uh, they're not big enough. The camera didn't care. Bicycles went by. Didn't even light us up. So it shows us a blind spot. Yeah, it shows the blind spots. Keep you from crashing. It's a class three hitch, it's a two inch receiver. That's why I put this chair out, I thought this would be ideal for this truck. This is what she would pull. Mm -hmm. I can see you pulling this a couple bales of hay if you had horses or, yeah. like I said, four wheelers, dirt bikes, a small camper, have some fun. Yeah, six people might make this handle a little better with the trailer. Yeah. Plan it a little better. Good looking vehicles. I've always liked these floors. They've been around forever. I mean, I, I back when I had a Bronco 2, and I can't remember what year that was. And they came out the next year after the Bronco 2 came the Explorer. Quite a deal. That was back, you know, and had the big recalls on the tires and the Firestone and all that nonsense. But that, you know, I, and all these manufacturers, they go through that. Ford did it with the Explorer. You know, General Motors had a lot of problems, you know, with crashes in the last few years. And so does Toyota. So they all seem to do that, even though they, you know, they, they do a lot of work to make these safe. But then so many of them will try to cover it up for so long when there is a problem, which yep. isn't good. 
Yeah, that is quite a bit. I remember that. I was still selling cars when all that went on, trucks. And U-Haul wouldn't I wouldn't rent you a trailer if you had an explorer. I mean, all kinds of yep. stuff came out of that. I don't know if that's changed since then. I'm gonna say when was that? It was back in the I think it's still the same. Nineties. Had to be in the, the late nineties, mid nineties, somewhere in there. There's a lot of police cars that are explorers, you know, mm-hmm. special police uh, inter- interceptor edition with this EcoBoost. And yeah. They can get up and they can get up and move. It's a good little engine. Yeah, I'm sure kind of here in residential you can't like burn rubber, can you? I'm not supposed not, to. You're not supposed to. I bet I could. Well, <laughs> let's take this trailer <laughs> off. Yeah, we've already been pulled over by the park rangers twice for whatever yeah. it is we're doing wrong. But yeah. We'll have to find some place that's, I think National Forest or National Parks maybe won't get pulled off. And it's these open spaces that they get real critical on. It is. Yeah. Okay, Kelsey, we're going to show these Bolt products. These are really cool. Uh, I was introduced to these by Ford, uh, the truck we did uh, a year ago, the F-150 that had the factory ATV ramps on it. We uh, It came with two Bolt cables. These are cable locks, and they have padlocks, they have coupler locks, they have all kinds of locks, padlocks, everything, and let's see how fast you can do this, Kelsey. Now, how do they work? How do you, you, you get your ignition key, you program them into that, is that what the deal is? Yep, so this is Kent's key, and this is the bolt lock, and I just put it in. And now it's programmed, itself. cool. Then you can strap down your motorcycles, your ATVs, all kinds of stuff. So to hook this up, Yeah, and that's really nice, the fact that um, one ignition key does it all, because I have so many padlock keys. Yeah, that's cool. And you just hook that through the loop and put the lock on it, and you're good to go. That's pretty cool. That way, one key does it all. We're going to hook up several locks. It's just using my ignition key, so I'll have five or six locks with one key. And the key I have with me all the time, my truck key, which is cool. We've got the padlock. Let me zoom in on that. That was a padlock, and I'm going to use that padlock on my spare tire key on the other trailer when we get back. That's idea. awesome. Good place to put it. And they all program just the same way. What's that one? Well, this is the coupler pin lock for hitch trailers. Okay. So now, really easy to program these once again. That is... Take hey. your sticker off. Take your keys. Counterclockwise till it stops. Awesome. And That's cool. Now we've got our coupler. Yeah. I wonder if it only goes in one way. Yeah, I don't know if, the, yeah, if that's, that's the screw in or how that works. It's like, look, it's got like a corkscrew kind of system on it. Yep, you gotta unlock oh, it. Oh, there you go. Slides right in. Now will lock your coupler down. Now it's locked. Yeah, that's nice. I'll use that on this trailer. I think I have that spot. I can do that here. Pretty cool. Well, and we got another cable. Got a receiver lock too. Oh yeah. Now that one is a smaller pin than what I have. So we can't show this one, but I can. No, add. because that would go on your hitch. I need to get a bigger one, but that's what that one's for. It's for a little smaller pin than I have. Unless it would go through the coupler. I don't know. I'll have to try that one later on. But that's the same thing. One key does it all. One key. Take your sticker. You're collecting stickers, I'm I see. Oh, you dropped the bolt. This one actually had plastic over it. You just take your key. Go clockwise till it stops. Take your key out. Cool. Awesome. There you go. Until you unlock it. Yeah, I think I've got three cable locks now, so I've got enough to lock down all the vehicles. Whatever you need. Yeah. So that one other cable, you want to show that out how I would latch it on my tail ramp. This package comes covered in hair. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> it's okay. I'll program this one real fast since it's new. Yeah, these work really well. And they're all waterproof, heavy duty. Awesome. And, you know, we take ATVs all over the place, and I sure like to lock stuff up. Yeah, that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. And you can lock all these valuables because, you know, you get a trailer like this with three vehicles on it, two ATVs and a motorcycle, and it gets expensive. Well, if you wanted to, honestly, you could lock up your ramp. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Run through the mesh and then through the frame. And then they'd have a hard time getting those vehicles out of there. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Well, that's how Bolt works. B O L T. A cool lot. Okay, camera's on. You are live.